YouTube, what is going on? Chris with Journals, Comics, and Pop Culture. Today, we are looking at this stack of goodies right here. What are these comic books? These comic books are all books that are in need of a pressing, and they are being shipped out to get pressed. Yes, I do press my own books, and this is the first time I'm actually shipping books out to get pressed by somebody else. And who was going to be pressing these up? popculturezone.com folks uh you guys know that i've talked about popculturezone.com in some of my videos this video is addressing their pressing and cleaning services so what we're going to do here is we're going to do a before and after so right now we're going to look at some of these books in a before before i ship them out and once we get them back for pop culture zone we're going to look at what kind of job they did now i want to get these under the light as you can see it's probably a little dark around here but we got the light coming right down here because i want to make sure you guys can see some of the defects in these uh so let's just go ahead and start doing it guys because we're gonna like i said we're gonna do some before and afters I'll take some stills to show when we're doing the uh, the after as well to bring up on screen. So let's look at this Daredevil book. You got a kink there. I tried to pick books that I knew had pressable defects. Of course, I mean, you see some wrinkling right there, what I call finger crinkles. Right up there, you see some defects along the spine. Or excuse me, not the spine, but just the edge of the front cover all through there. Look at that. Look at that. You can see all that. So we got a lot of crinkling action going on in this book. A um, little little bit of action back here, same. It's got some tanning and stuff that is there, but there's a good glimpse of that one. So we got Daredevil 196 with Wolvie. A really cool thing about their pressing services is they offer different tiers, and you guys can check out the link in the description below that I have to their website where you can check out the tiers that show if you want just like a basic press which is really cheap and affordable and it starts getting a little more pricey if you go with like a, a press and clean, double press, etc., etc. And I think that's a really solid um, way to offer pressing services. Before I continue, let's look at this Superman book. doesn't sit fully flat. A little bit of crinkling in there. This can get cleaned up. Some crinkling up there. See the top of the corner there to the left. Right over there, right by the super above the Superman font. So that can get nice and, and cleaned up, I'm sure. Lots of uh, finger crinkles. Look, at there's a crease right there that doesn't break color. Let's see if that can come out. But as I was saying, you know, I think it is really, really awesome with Pop Culture Zone offering these different tiers because as somebody that presses myself, I understand that certain books aren't going to need as much love and you could throw them in for a quick press. But then there's some that really need the time and the effort and that extra love to get them where they need to be. And you're going to have to, you know, put a lot more labor into that. So, uh, you know, to, to those that want to save some money, get those quick press or those that want to spend a little more to actually get the work done, especially if you have big value keys or that, that you know can really benefit from being the best grade possible, it is definitely, definitely worth it, especially if they're books, of course, that you're going to send off to get graded at CGC, CBCS, EGS, etc. All right, let's look at this one. This one definitely has a lot of defects there. I mean, this has some color breaks too, so obviously you can't take care of color breaks in a press but nice little spine roll going on there a lot of crinkles here on this green lantern book look at that i think this one is going to get a really good job done to it because uh, again a lot of this does not break color this is all crinkle and action that should be uh pressable for the most part all right we don't have to i'm not going to necessarily go through all of these but i want to get you guys a good good idea of what I got, look, there's some right down here. What I got going uh, off to popculturezone.com. Let's see, uh, lots of finger crinkles here. You guys could see all that. Look at that, look at that right down there. Let's see if that gets taken care of. Ooh, look at that. Uh, got some Star Wars again, just, you know, finger crinkles. There's some color breaking spine ticks and everything, but I just, I want to get that those crinkles out, get it sitting nice and flat, get that gloss to really shine flat. Uh, and here's a, a, a Moon Knight one. Looks like we got through all of them. This is Moon Knight. 
And again, look at this. Uh, this could be some, from some water damage or something. Look how it sits. So hopefully this can come back flat. Again, you guys can see it right there. Again, oh, right there. There it is. There it is. Oh, look at all that. Look at that. Look at that. So... All right, folks, there it is. These books are going to get shipped out. I can't wait to get them back. We're going to examine them. We're going to examine the after uh, under the light as well. But I will also take some stills right now of these. And I'll take some stills of the after when they come back before I do the video. And you guys will see those roll on screen. So uh, here we go. Stay tuned. All right, everyone, we are back with the package that just came in the mail from PopCultureZone.com with all the books that I sent out for them to get pressed out. We got our best bud, Red Deadly, here. I've been neglecting Red Deadly. Now, I know Red Deadly went on a vacation right there. He was trying to figure his life out. But as of late, it's it's all my fault just because I haven't had any boxes to open. But thanks to PopCultureZone.com, Red Deadly, you are getting some work. So we're going to go in on this box i'm really really excited to see the results on these comic books all right here we go well packaged we got uh newspaper bubble or not bubble wrap but <laughs> popcorn that's gonna make a mess in here but for a good cause it's gonna snow all right and then we have all the books in a uh, gemini mailer type uh, container here well packaged to make sure that the books not only make it safely but obviously uphold the the new condition that they are in from the press so here we go painters taped in i'm excited my first time sending out books to get to get professionally pressed guys if you didn't know all right here they are in a uh, a, a, a larger poly bag and then of course individually bagged and boarded in we got daredevil 196 again looks super crisp and clean in the bag we're going to take it out i remember some of these were pretty bad pretty bad so we got a couple of color breaking spine ticks, of course, that you can't do nothing about in a press. And a little bit of uh, some, some tanning along the top here too. I think, yeah, this came from a collection where it had some tanning like on the top um, of the back of the books and on the front, but look at this book, smooth. Look at this, sharp corners, flawless spine outside of the color breaking spine ticks that a press is not going to do anything about look at that smooth all the way around look at that flat spine smooth no spine roll nothing sits flat beautiful beautiful all right, I'm excited. I'm going to bring this down a little bit for you guys so you can see a little more of the books as they sit. All right, next up, we have our my Alpha Flight special uh, newsstand that I sent in. Now, remember, folks, you guys could do, uh, if you go on their website and check out, and of course, links below, they offer a quick press, which is a, a cheap press. Uh, affordable press, which they still do a good job, which most of these are. Um, most of these were just a quick press. Some of them were a more intricate press, and that involves, um, you, you, you know, the, obviously a full press process. So make sure you guys check out the website, see the different tiers that they do offer. 
Look at this. F flawless again. One little spine tick down here still that I feel. Um, this corner was was uh, kind of blunted, so you, you can't obviously press out blunted corners. And there was a color break right at the top, but other than that, another look at look. You guys can see where the glare is. Look at how sharp and smooth, sharp and look at that. No finger crinkles in any of these books. And as somebody that presses books myself, like I said, I don't remember the exact state that every single book was in, um, but I know that a lot of these needed a lot of work, and I know many of them had major finger crinkles and look at this smooth spine is flat just everything sits flat another beautifully done book amazing all right here we go we got some flash 248 Been trying to collect more of my flash run, my volume one flash run. Uh, this had a little bit of color wear on the spine, a couple of color break spine ticks. The edges are not uh, perfect on this either, but again, this is really smooth. Um, there's a color break increase that's still there, but you can hardly see it. There's a color break increase right in there, but you can hardly see it because it it sits so flat. Look at this back. Look at how clean that back looks. Look at that. Look at that. Just beautiful. And again, I mean, you could see a little bit of the, the color wear that was obviously present. I think this one might have had a really messed up spine. But look at how flat and smooth that is. Wow. I mean, <sighs> unbelievable. Unbelievable. And remember, I want to reiterate this. I want to reiterate this. You can't, th there's pressable defects, not the, not the YouTube channel, much respect to pressable defects, <laughs> but in regards to books, there are pressable defects and non-pressable defects. Certain water staining and staining cannot be cleaned or pressed out. And of course, anything that color breaks cannot be cleaned or pressed out. Now, this Moon Knight book, was really really bad i mean this book had water damage and galore it would not sit flat at all look at this look at this look at you guys could probably could see this here look at this look at that wow just wow and this was one that got the the full press uh, I, I remember for sure that this was one of the ones. This one is one of the ones that did not get a quick press. So if you guys are interested in looking at the before and after of this one, this is just, oh my goodness, beautiful. It does have, um, you can see a little bit of the, of the water staining up here still, but it sits immaculately flat. And look at that, look at that spine. I'm just extremely impressed. This spine here too. Oh, man. Wow. Oh, wow, wow. I had to get, give you guys an even more in-depth look at this one right here. All right. Moving on, we got some action comics. This one was a pretty lower grade just because of... Uh, all the the color breaks that were in this, if I if I remember correctly, but again, just complete yeah, lots of color breaks in there. But again, sits pretty flat. This one even had some some water damage too. So I won't go too much into that one. Uh, we got a couple more here. Let's look at this Star Wars. Star Wars number 54, we got a couple more and then we are done. And I hope, I mean, this is more than a sample size for you all to get an idea of what Pop Culture Zone offers. Wow, this is really nice. A couple of, uh, some definitely color breaking spine ticks again. Blending of the edges. Oh, the, oh, it has a rip on the back. Some writing and a rip on the back. But again, 
a decent job of uh, cleaning, I'm sure. And then just, as you can see, look at how flat that is. Look at how flat that is. And I think this might have had a little bit of water damage too. Wow. No finger crinkle. Completely smooth. Again, popculturezone.com. Link is below. Let's see this Green Lantern. Another one that had a huge color breaking crease that ran from here to there. It sits completely flat and you got to really get the light in there to see it. Wow. Look at this bat. Super, super clean. And sits completely flat with no finger crinkles. Look at that. Folks, I'm telling you, uh, for the value that they're offering in, in the type of services that they're providing, definitely go check out popculturezone.com. I wouldn't I wouldn't steer you wrong. I am just I'm I'm very impressed. I'm gonna turn this video off when I'm done with it and I'm gonna examine these books even more and i'm just i mean they are just super glossed out super smooth all the way around look at that so smooth all of them perfectly flat sitting so again an amazing job well done well worth it popculturezone.com folks not only are they you know a one-stop spot for uh, uh, variants, um, incentive variants, CGC graded keys, toys, anything pop culture, they offer an amazing grading service. And it's interesting because I get a lot of people that ask me like, oh, you know, you grade books. I, I do videos on, on grading, or excuse me, grade books. You press books. And I say, you know what? I press my own books, but I just, I don't do it as a service. Um, then they, they always ask me, who do you recommend? Now, I have my spot, popculturezone.com. Amazing, amazing job. Check them out, folks, if you have. Uh, I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below, what you thought of the books that you saw, the before and after. And of course, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave, your, leave the questions in the comments below again. But reach out to them. Links in the description below, guys, popculturezone.com. Thank you guys so much. And thank you all for watching. Be well. If you aren't subscribed to the channel, please, please take some time to do so. And until next time.